first program in C. Let us have a look at rules that are applicable for writing any C program. So first rule is each instruction in a C program is a separate statement. C is a case sensitive language. So all statement make it a habit that we are writing all statements in small letters. INT in capital and INT in small integer is treated differently. It's very important to understand the C is case sensitive language. C is a free form language. What does that mean? We can write one or more sentences or statements or instructions of a C program on the same line separated by semicolon. It's a free form language. It will allow you to write it. It's not recommended though. Sequence of execution of any C program happens in the same order in which programming is written. So if you have written statement 1, statement 2, statement 3. So first statement 1 will be executed, then statement 2 will be executed, then statement 3 will be executed. Typically, it goes from top to bottom, left to right. Every C statement must end with semicolon. So semicolon is very important and it's called as the statement terminator. So now let us go ahead and see our first program with main comments and printf statement. So if you look at this program and the line number 1 which is basically a calculation of diameter of a circle. This is called as documentation section of C or comments. So slash star you can start comment slash star slash is the ending of a comment. Whatever is written in between these two is treated, and treated as comments and it is not compiled as a com uh, compiled code by compiler as well as it doesn't execute. So comments help you, your team, your colleague in better understanding, readability of program, they help in development, testing and debugging effort. So it's a good practice to write appropriate comment and as it doesn't increase the length of the code and the execution speed of the code, so use it extravagantly. Typically we write author name, date, organization in comments. If you look at the second type of comment, it's a multi-line comment. Starts with slash star, ends with star slash. Then comes the link section. In this case, it's hash include standard input output header file. So stdr.h means standard input output header file is a preprocessor directive. So the way, say for example, you want to play a song from a particular movie, then you need to put that CD into CD drive. Then only you can play one of the song of that movie. If you want to play some other song, other CD need to put in. The same way, you need to include preprocessor directive. Okay, if you wanna use some function from that preprocessor directive. Now here we have used printf. The definition declaration of this printf is basically given into this stdr.h file. That's the reason we have included this. Then it is followed by main function. If you see here main followed by brackets, it's a function name. If you are writing a C program, it must have at least one function. And if it is only one function, it has to be main. Main function by default returns integer value. That's the reason we have written integer main. Now the function starts is denoted by a opening brace and there is a closing brace which closes it. The next statement here is a variable declaration. If you look at it, there are two variables radius and diameter which are of type integer which we have declared over here. 
you can write any name for variables like a b c d or anything but make it a habit to use proper names meaningful names in this case we have declared two variables of integer type one is a radius and second is diameter so quickly one come to know that what this variable names are used for then we have given a comment it's a small comment here which shows that this is formula for calculating diameter of a circle but in case of bigger programs this comes very handy and relevant then radius equal to 20 diameter equal to radius into 2 are the program statements or see instructions then once you have calculated diameter from this radius value we need to write this output to the screen so for writing output to the screen we have a function called as printf available in stdio.h here we have written diameter of a circle is as a text and then we have written percentage d then the percentage d prints the value of a diameter which is basically an integer variable at last we have written return 0 which main being a function that returns integer value we are returning 0 if any other value is written other than 0 it considered to be a failure zero is success closing curly brackets signifies that function is ending over here so this is the way we write any c program we have seen a program with main comments and printf please understand c is a case sensitive language please follow good and consistent programming style while writing the program so that your code will be of industry standard it will and it will help you your colleagues your team and other programmers during the life cycle of that code to have a better readability about your program